Hello everyone. The Umkonto was a party leader in parliament, Dr. Hlope, is planning to bring unity in the Umkonto was party and take the organization very far. He was speaking on the SAPC news and stated that he will work very close with his colleagues so that he can build a solid team. Number one, what I consider to be important, it is to work very closely with my colleagues especially the chief whip, secretary general, and the spokesperson for the party. That's number one. Once you have solid leadership and we take decisions collectively, sorry, collectively, and we don't undermine each other and we work together. So my first challenge is to build a team, trust so that we understand each other very well, so that uh, there is no misunderstanding between us and emphasized that the former president Jacob Zuma is still the president of Umkonto Wesizu party. But most importantly, President Zuma is still the president of the party. I don't want people to get between us and say Zuma said this in a rally and Shlope said that. For that reason, I will, I said to President Zuma a couple of days ago when I visited him at his home in Nkandla, and I'm not hiding that. I go to Nkandla whenever I want to. I said to him, it is very important for us, this is myself now and President Zuma, to be seen together in public rallies so that there is no divided leadership, MK in Parliament and MK outside Parliament. So you are going to see me wearing traditional out outfit with a spear, Namkele and everything else that Zuma wears, because I'm an African as well. Judge John Klopp has done a great work, especially in the Western Cape province, where he was elected as the president of the judges. He has brought hope for the Umkonto Wesizu Party members who were impatient after the Umkonto Wesizu Party boycotted their seats in parliament. And it was reported that other members were fighting for positions in the KZN legislature. He also stated that they will work in a very constructive way in parliament. They won't allow to be bullied by others and they will stand firm in what they believe and fight for the poor people. Our position is clear. I said it earlier on and I said it in the morning. I believe that we must work in a very constructive way in parliament. Of course, we are new in Parliament. Some of the colleagues, I will learn a lot from them. But we would like to engage in a very constructive, courteous and respectful manner. We consider ourselves to be the official opposition, and I think the official opposition is given five minutes or so. That's the time we want to utilize optimal. And for that reason, rest assured. I'm speaking for myself and I'm sure I'm speaking on behalf of each and everyone here. We are not going to engage in petty politics. We know the issues that are, are critical. It's the issue of land first. It's the issue of transforming important sectors of the economy, such as mining, agriculture and so on. So the issues that we want to bring to the fore, that must be debated thoroughly and that we must find a solution. So there is clearly no time for petty politics in our field. But I can say, yeah, President Ramaphosa is getting away with murder. That's a check on this one, people. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.